Um, kanina kasi yung husband ko nag-share na siya about the business. And I think most of you know already what have happened to our lives ever since we entered multi-level marketing. Um, but I think siguro kasi ang ganda nung sinabi ni Pastor Carlo kanina na before I came up that I am going to share how this business has affected our lives. So, can I share a little bit? Yeah. Ma-ano ma, lang, lang ako, okay lang. Kasi nami-miss ko talaga to eh. Talagang pinaghirapan ko mag-mentoring program para makarating ako sa stage na to eh. Yeah. Uh -oh. So, I just want to share with you guys how how this business has affected us. Well, actually, most of the time, me. Kasi ako talaga yung very, very much into MLM. When the vision was given to me that this was going to be a way for me to help out other people, I was in HR for a long time. And it pains me every time na nagre-recruitment nagre that I had to turn down kasi nakukwento na nila sa akin that they are going to be the breadwinner, they needed this job, but they don't qualify. And it's very hard. Pero dito, nagawa sa akin, what it did to me was that I had the opportunity this time to help out people even though that they don't pass the qualification. Kasi there is FDI. There is FDI that can help me train them. And that for me was the biggest selling point why we continue to stay here. My husband and I have been here for like 2011. Kami pumasok, so nine years already. Um, for some of you, you might have been here for for a year, two years, three years, and sometimes you don't see. Tama? Meron ba talagang nagbabago? Um, two weeks ago, I went to another ano, to another province because I'm helping out the foundation and they asked me if I could uh, do an elevator pitch to this um, government official for them. And when I was talking to that government official, it just so happened because I'm in the area na yon, naka-mentor's jacket ako, yun yung nakuha ko before going to the bus terminal, yun yung nahila kong jacket. And it was quite coincidental that when I was talking to the, the government official, I was wearing the mentor's jacket and someone took a photo of it and sent it to me. And on the way home, bigla kong naiyak. Alam niyo kung bakit? Nine years ago, you would not even catch me talking to a government official. Hindi ko kakayanin yun. Not even me um, doing doing ano, doing something for other people because they need the help. It was FDI that really trained me. And I cannot count anymore the number of dreams that came through, not just for us as a family, but for the people that we are helping. Um, we have a downline who, because of this business, was able to bring her husband to another country na noong empleyado siya, hindi niya nagawa yun. And another downline who is already in her 70s, na over 30 plus years siyang nagtuturo, pero not even once, nadala niya yung isa sa mga anak niya para mag-abroad. And only this time, so binagin niya na siya daw yun, so hindi na so si mga. Oh, oh. You, you get my point? That it's not instant, definitely it's not. But when you see people grow right before your very eyes, you know that you are doing something really great in this industry. Yes. And that's the very reason why my husband and I continue to stay because we see dreams coming true right before our very eyes. And you don't get it, not all the time outside. Yun lang po, maraming salamat.